All right, Earth Day is almost here. And we're already getting into the spirit of things this morning. Fox 13's Charlie Belcher, Saving the Earth this morning. Is that a business that uh, is giving your trash new life? Good morning. You said it all. Back to you. All right. <laughs> Thanks, well, Charlie. Produ the producer was working overtime on that lead. I like Fox 13's Charlie Belcher. No, it's just me. Come on. It is almost sound like somebody important was going to come out. You're talking about that Botox stuff. I, I saw a story about the Botox over the weekend, and I swear, every before, they were, they were just doing this, and then they were like, and then after, I was like this. Before, after, before, after. That's Botox for you. Uh, hey, yeah, we, well, you said it all. Yeah, Earth Day, and we're at a recycling place, and I got nothing else to tell you this hour, but we're going to take big stuff like this, and we're going to put it in this huge machine over here, and oh, my gosh, wait till you see what happens. <laughs> It's intense, it's great, it's earth shattering, and it's earth saving. And you meet the guy who uh, never figured he'd be doing this for a living, but it's pretty interesting. Commercial plastics recycling, CPR, but we're, we're, we're resuscitating the earth instead of uh, pulmonary, whatever CPR stands for. There you go, back to you. It's all I got, it's all I got! You said it on the lead, for goodness sakes. You know, no, you always have more. You always have more, and you always make it better. I'll see you later. Yeah. Bye. Ooh, Dr. Feelgood. All right, this is just one of several. On this Monday, it is time to talk to one of my best friends, probably my top 50 best friends, Charlie Belcher. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in the top 50. I'm good with that. Thank you, my man. <laughs> hey, hey this, this Sunday big day, it's Earth Day. We've been uh, thinking about our lovely planet uh, on that special day for quite a while now. So I got us thinking about recycling and those sort of things. And check this out. You know what this is, Dave? This is a solar panel for, like, uh, water. You know, uh, heating up water. It goes through the little tubes on this plastic thing. It sits out in the sun, heats up. Well, look at all this leftover, and look at this big pipe over there, and we got uh, orange juice containers there, and look at those, the, the turquoise-looking giant pipe. You know, there was a time when all this stuff just ended up in the landfill. Ah, but then commercial plastics recycling got involved, and they said, wait a second, we could turn this into that. I'll show you the this and that when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Hey, Charlie. Hey, I think you hit, you hit on something there where they were Giants fans. Because isn't it usually Giants, Yankees, Mets, Jets? I think that's kind of how it goes in New York a lot. So it was probably Giants fans giving Tebow the business. Uh, hey, when you last saw me, I was showing you these little uh, water solar panels. And uh, what they do in here at Commercial Plastics Recycling, they crush it up like that, sell it to a company that then makes that out of it, a plastic ladder. It's so cool. We're turning this into that. We'll explain more from Commercial Plastics Recycling when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. And speaking of which, Charlie Belcher is going to be following this Earth Day theme today. He is at a recycling facility in Tampa, converting plastic to plastic. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. <laughs> hey, the, uh, the cleanup this weekend. I saw that Dave signed up and Jen Epstein signed up. Um, you guys, you guys on that list? You guys going to be I'm on that list. Morning? Russell? <laughs> sure. All right. I'm not on the list. My public appearance that day is going to be at the Rays game. All right. You know, in a, all right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. Stop. Charlie. Charlie. I have, Charlie, I have an event yes? that night, too. I'm doing an event called Erase Hate at Curtis Hickson go. Park. So that's where right, I'm going to be on Saturday evening. We're all busy. That's We're what, all busy. Just so you'll know. Okay, good. Boy, poor Russell. Threw him right under the bus. Uh, but I'm right there with you. The bus ran over us both. Uh, I want you to beat. All right, back to work. Ben, ben, ben Venuti. Correct. Which means welcome in Italian, I just found right. out. Ben Benvenuti, uh, the owner of uh, Commercial Plastics Recycling. How did you get into this business, turning plastic into plastic? Well, actually, I uh, went to work for someone in the plastics industry, recycling, and I really had very little knowledge of the business. And uh, that was back in 1990. Worked. Uh, for another company for about six and a half years, and uh, we parted ways, and I opened up my own company. And so, what I find fascinating is, as you gave us a tour the other day, and we see so much large items, like like giant pipes and big, big uh, things, of bales of plastic and bags and bottles. All that at one time was just all going to our landfills. A, a lot of it was going to landfills. Um, you know, now we, we find that we're able to, to recycle it. Uh, even just up until last year, we were not able to handle those really large pipes until we purchased this, this new machine, which is, allows us to, to now grind up uh, pipe up to 
up to four foot in diameter oh and gosh. 20 foot lengths. And we're gonna fire that baby up uh, yes. a little later. Huh? Boy, sure thing. It makes your bones rattle yeah. when it gets going. You can uh, feel it. <laughs> and it, it, it's commercial plastics, like, as it says in the name of your company, you're, you're taking waste from, from commercial, from, from big companies who are, right. who are mass producing big things and they've got either leftovers or things they don't want or things they've messed up and they don't know what to do with, you it, kind of take it off their hands. Exactly. Well, well we, we don't really specialize in the post-consumer that you would put at your curb. Uh, a lot of that is handled through your either uh, solid waste management with people from the city or uh, some private company that is handling the recyclables and they would then recycle that and, and, and that would go back into another product. Uh, mostly what we handle is your commercial uh, waste, which is, again, it's, it's pipe that's unused. You see it when they're, when they're running fiber optic and there's pieces sticking out of the ground and they yeah. fuse it. The scrap is then cut and we get that product. Uh, we also get things when you build model airplanes. You used to get little sprues and, and, right. and it break off the good part. Well, the, the bad part, that's a sprue, is, is scrap. Well, we get that from a lot of medical molders and big companies that, that generate a lot of scrap, whether it be uh, skeletons from credit cards uh, or, you know, room key right, right. And, and that type of thing. All right, perfect. Well, here's what we're going to do. When we come back, we're going to fire up these machines and we're going to show you, actually, what Ben does is he takes those big things and he uh, pulverizes it into stuff that looks like this and then sells it to companies that make other stuff out of it. So we'll show you the this and that, and we'll fire up these machines when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Happy Monday, everybody. And Charlie, one man's garbage, another man's gold. No tie there. Casual No going. tie. I'm so healthy, yes. Uh, hey, what do you do with the stuff like this? Well, you, you put it on this machine, and you turn it into stuff like this. But it's what they can do with this that will really impress you. We're talking this and that, and this to that. Get ready for Earth Day at Commercial Plastics Recycling when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Del Air City. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Commercial Plastics Recycling, CPR, here in Tampa. <coughs> Excuse me. I may need some CPR here for a second. It's Ben's company. Man, <coughs> swallowed something the uh, wrong way there. Uh, Ben's company, and we're going to talk about we're gonna, things that make you go, hmm, we're going to show you where a lot of your, you get the stuff from uh, commercial entities. Yep. Either mistakes in production lines, overflow, uh, excess waste. Correct. You take it. Correct. You grind it, mm -hmm. and then you sell it. Exactly. Is that basically how it works? That's exactly how it works. All right, so like this we're familiar with. Can we say the name of this company? Sure, that's... Uh, this is Zephyr Hills Water Zephyr Hills Bottle. Water Bottles and... Uh, look, 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 that kind of thing there. Basically, after they use them so many times, they get too scuffed up, and, and uh, you know, they're very... Uh, conscious of their image, right. so they they scrap them. They don't um, want to end it up in a landfill; just throw it away. Exactly, it. and then we we grind it up. You make it look like that. Yep. And then you sell that as a raw material. We sell that as a raw material. This particular product goes into many of the Chrysler substrates under the dash, and also into a Mercedes Benz housing. Is that for a speaker? For a speaker. So if you're driving a Benz and you got a speaker and you're listening to the radio. Think about your Zephyr Hose water bottle. That's pretty fantastic. Uh, all right, let's give some other examples of this to that. Sure. Uh, we have uh, water bottles or soda bottles. And again, which, this is not from the consumer, but this would be from the manufacturer who makes a mistake. Yeah, from the manufacturer. And, and then once that comes in and gets cleaned up and it looks like very nice, clean, uh, regrind, it can go back into uh, things like strapping. These shoelaces are actually made from polyester, 100%. Amazing. The uh, carpeting in the back of your, in the trunk of your car is made from polyester. This stuff too? And as egg well trays? as egg, egg uh, trays, absolutely. All right, now how about uh, like PVC fence? Well, a lot, of, a lot of what we do is, is a lot of construction debris, as you see, we'll see more pipe later, right. but you know, things like siding, um, we also have uh, fencing. And you will also see we have some uh, credit card skeletons, whether they be, uh, uh, you know, printing mistakes right. or, or, or the, or the, the excess actual skeleton, the excess waste. We grind that up. It looks like this. And then it goes what back into, into? into this gray pipe, oh, which is uh, basically electrical conduit. That's incredible. Uh, some of the colorful stuff here. Well, we have, um, we have things like these are uh, polypropylene caps. So when we grind up our caps, 
So the caps uh, that, are, like that. that are reject caps because they change the thread or uh, some other design on the cap. We'll grind it up. What do they It'll become a prop. A lot of it goes into hangers. Uh, it can go into... Like a coat hanger? Yep, can go into a coat hanger. And even, in, what was this? What did this start out as? This started out as either IV tubing. Medical tubing. Medical tubing. Never been used. Never, never used. Blood bags unused. And then we grind it up. And, and somebody turns it into this a is, boot. This is, made, this is a boot from our customer made in Central America. I love it. There you go. All right, so we just wanted to give you an idea of the this to that. Now we're going to crank up these big bad boy machines, and we'll show you how they do it, why it's a really specialized industry, and why... Uh, there's some cost involved. These machines are not cheap, but it's uh, saving the planet one boot at a time, Russell and Laura. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. See you later. You know, you... All right, we're going to turn it over now to Charlie Belcher. He's uh, turning uh, a little garbage into gold this morning, right? Absolutely. Commercial Plastics Recycling, CPR here in Tampa. They take this big old pipe. Look at how thick that is. And they're going to send it through this machine, and ooh, look at those. Look at the grinders right there. They're going to chop this thing up and make it uh, ready for something else. We're going to crank up the big machine when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Not yet. Not yet. Fox. The <laughs> let's, get out, let's get out to Charlie right now. Saving the world, aren't you? I'm going to have to tweet that. Sentences I never thought I'd hear, hear on morning television. Yeah. I'd love to weigh your purse. <laughs> I, I that's a sentence I thought I'd never hear. I love it. Leave it to Russell Rhodes. I'd love to weigh your purse. Uh, ben, Benvenuti, right. welcome. Uh, we, it's, it's his company, Commercial Plastics Recycling, and let's get right to it. We're going to recycle. Yeah. we got some big old pipes in there, and uh, we're going to break them down. Yes, we are. This, is, this will do up to a 4-foot diameter pipe, 20-foot uh, length at one time. There's some smaller pipes in there now, and uh, we're getting ready to start it up. So first of all, the big, and they, 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 these machines aren't cheap, I'm sure. Uh, about $300,000. Holy schmoles. Uh, but, and, and so now it's inside there. We saw the little grinding wheel right about here. It's basically going to pulverize that stuff. Well, it's going to grind it, shred it first. Oh, that's right. It gets and pulled. Then, yeah, oh, it's it's shred it. It's going to shred first into the, the bigger chunks, and then it will, um, it will grind it to the smaller chunks in the, in the grinder. And why this is such a specialized thing is, the, is those... Those big pipes like that, not everybody can just take those and, and break them down. That's correct. And um, this, this is one of the machines that um, is able to do that. And um, where it, normally, well, you can see the, the shred over on the other side there. I think they're, they're having to cycle it again to uh, get it to start. Oh, did we, uh, we mess with it over there? Yeah, we, 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 we. All right, well, the machine's going to start. And it, that, I don't want to get too close, though. A little conveyor belt there. You see, that's what's going to come out of the first machine, those size pieces, right? Yep. All right, and then we'll, we'll walk around here. Hopefully, we'll hear it if the machine starts. It throws those pieces out on this conveyor belt here, right? And then what happens? Now uh, you hear it here starting up now. It'll get pretty noisy in here. Uh, but what will happen is the, the uh, shredder will start shredding the product, and then you'll start seeing the rest of the system will kick on, and, uh, and it'll start grinding the bigger pieces into a regrind. So these big pieces are thrown up there? Yep. And they come out. How does it end up over here? Um, well, basically what it does is after it's ground, it goes through an air aspiration system, which removes a lot of the dust. And then it, it comes out here. We go through a, a metal separator to make sure there's no metal in there. And then in essence, this is, this is what it ends up being. Yep, the big pipe we saw there, the beginning ends up like this. This is what's uh, valuable. Yes, that's our rewind, and that's what we sell. Oh, and here's the rest of the system kicking on. Here it goes. Now it's moving. Here we go. Now you can see at the top of that. <laughs> All right, it's recycling in action. Boy, now everything's moving. Now it's moving. All right, it went much better in rehearsal. That's all right. You're seeing recycling in action. Stick around, everybody. More from commercial plastic recycling. There is a the small stuff coming out when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. This weekend, plus, instead of Earth Day, it's Earth Week. Charlie Belcher is starting us off with uh, some recycling. Hey, buddy. Absolutely. Commercial 
plastics recycling. We've moved inside here. And what do you do with all these old Zephyr Hills water bottles? Well, they're going to go up that conveyor belt, and then the fun begins. Stick around. We'll crank up the machine when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Fox the Hey, good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Commercial Plastics Recycling, CPR here in Tampa. They take commercial waste, they grind it into little bits, and they sell it to other places that make new things out of it. It's recycling at its finest. It's Ben's company. And we're talking about the Zephyr Hills water bottles that everybody's supposed to be familiar with, with the yep. local water cooler. They come to you like this from Zephyr Hills? Yes, they do. They come, from, they come to us bailed, and then we break open the bales, and we have to sort through them to make sure that we have just polycarbonate bottles. There are a couple different varieties of resins that are used. You can see right here, this one is a different bottle. It's actually a PET bottle, similar to a water bottle. And that- You can't just grind them all up together. No, no. Well, if you grind them all up together, you, you basically have contaminated product and it's of no value. So they get out of the baler and then they go over here and you, and you gotta take the labels off of them. He has to take the labels off. Not all of them have labels. Some of them are silk screen, but some have labels and those labels have to come off because that also would be a contaminant. You don't want paper in there, obviously. Exactly. No paper and, uh, and no other plastic-type uh, contaminants in there. So then we're going we're gonna to put them up the conveyor belt and just grind them and pulverize them. Exactly. They'll be ground uh, when, they, when they come out the end of the, uh, the, the grinder. Can I start the machine? Sure, go for Can it. Can I be the one to sit? All right. Absolutely. Uh, is it OSHA approved if I push the button? Yeah, sure, I'm going to put my earplugs in, though. Go okay, ahead. all right. So I'm going to push the button, okay? Okay. All right. Clear. Yeah, there we go, baby. Oh, my goodness. So basically what's happening is, is they're falling into a, a shipper, and they're just getting pulverized. Well, yeah, they're, they're being ground. They're not pulverized. They come out little ships, which you'll see coming out right here. And then who will you sell this to? Well, basically, it goes to a compounder who makes another product from it, uh, such as that Mercedes-Benz speaker housing. We also go to South America. They make roofing, uh, uh, roofing panels, skylight panels out of it. That's amazing. Here they come. Here they're... Look at that. That is... That is what the water bottles turn into, and that is a valuable resource that somebody else can take and make something out of it. And the, the person that buys that mixes it with other stuff to basically make new plastic pellets. Right, if they want a specific color or they need some other additives, they add that and then they make their own resin from it. All right. Well, yeah, I know you wanted to uh, give a shout out to your staff here. You can't do this by yourself. Hey, you know, you can't do it alone. And here's my staff and they do a great job. Fantastic, there you go. Everybody gets to be on TV and win. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, there you go. CPR, Commercial Plastics Recycling. And say These hi to the guys from hard. us. Say hi, to, say hi back. Say, say hi back. You know, Charlie, it's really interesting. What? Say what? hello oh, back. Okay. I, I always it. have wondered what happens on the other side of that blue bin that I leave on my curbside. All right, it's 927 and coming up.